How does one go from 19 years old, broke, hopeless, and without any help, to 20 years old, jet-setting world-traveling millionaire? I've shown you the lifestyle, the exotic cars, the networking with powerful people, the crazy parties, the multi-million dollar mansions. But how did this all happen in the first place? For the first time ever, I'm sharing with you never seen before footage of me from the time I was in Dubai, right after I became a millionaire and ditched my roads infected university dorm room. I discovered this forgotten footage in an old hard drive and had mixed thoughts about sharing it. As I was watching it, tears of joy and pride almost slid down my eyes, reminiscing where I came from and how far I've gotten. Despite the embarrassing accent, the baby face, and insecurity around the camera, I want to give you a glimpse into my mind back then. These are the thoughts that made me a millionaire at age 20, and they can help you achieve your goal too, whatever that is. So here is what 20-year-old Damien was thinking. Hello guys, this is Damien Prost, right from Dubai. In this quick video, I would like to talk about something I was thinking about for a while, and it's actually the reason I quit college. Many people ask me why I decided to quit college to follow the improbable dream of becoming a professional dancer. And actually, it's something that didn't happen right away. And I'm going to give you an example from someone else's life so I can connect that to my own experience. The founder of GoPro, the famous camera that I used to record this video, he initially wanted to create a wrist strap that she could attach any disposable camera on his hand and then he would sell that wrist strap to other big camera companies. I went surfing and I planned a five month surf trip around Australia and Indonesia. The inspiration came before I even left. I wanted to capture photos of myself and my friends that I was going on the trip with while we were surfing out in the water. No camera existed that allowed you to do that. And so I set out to develop this wrist harness that I could put a single-use disposable camera into and surf with it. Um, and it, I didn't even mean it to be a business idea. I just wanted to document my experience on this trip. But eventually he realized that this vision was too small. And if you have a small vision, you can't get ahead in life. She decided to broaden his vision. And she realized that the GoPro cameras had much more capabilities than just being something that attached on a wrist strap. In the same sense, I didn't quit college right away. For the first two or three months or so, I just went into business with the sole intention to create uh, some side revenue stream so I could make approximately $1,000 a month in order to make ends meet and just pay for my expenses. I have never any intention to become rich, to become a millionaire, but then I thought, why think small? Why just go for $1,000 a month when you can go for $1 million a year or a month here? I decided to quit that, to follow that improbable dream of becoming a professional dancer. And my sole intention in the beginning was to become a professional dancer and have a side revenue stream that could allow me to take the dancing classes I wanted or go to the dance camps I wanted, but I couldn't afford back then. And eventually, I realized that I was thinking too small. I had to broaden my vision, just like the guy who founded the GoPro cameras. So I said, screw it. I'm going to quit college and I'm going to go all in with business. And this decision eventually paid off. And when you start thinking bigger and when you broaden your vision, then magical things happen, like being here in Dubai, enjoying life. So it's all about broadening your vision. And you have 
to broaden your vision because no matter what your vision is at the moment, it's not that big. You can always accomplish more, you can always have more, you can always do more. As long as you start going towards that direction and don't just compromise with making a normal salary or making $1,000 a month, whether that comes from a side business or whatever type of income you're having. Just start thinking bigger. You know, so when people are like, oh, when are you ever gonna be satisfied? The great ones are never satisfied. Okay, it's, it's the mediocre people that have some box called satisfaction. Go all in to whatever you want to accomplish. And if you keep working on that thing every single day, and if you keep expanding that vision as you move along and as you uh, keep accomplishing more, you will eventually be able to do whatever the hell you want with your life and being free to live the life on your terms. Here's an important thing you should know that my mentor Grant Cardone told me. Who are you learning from? Are you learning from people are not getting anywhere with their lives or are you getting from somebody who's been successful who's been there that you want to be and done what you want to do so here's the thing i'll give you this key this is a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar lamborghini if you subscribe right now i'm giving you this key you can have this by subscribing right now by watching the content of this channel by going down in the description and signing up for my newsletter and by the way it's all freaking free it's all freaking free. This will change your life. This is the key for a better life. So you'd better get it.